Okay, so um, so they're showing us these are Venn. We're back to the Venn diagrams again, which is showing us this, and and the Venn diagram here shows the cardinality. That's a fancy word. What does that mean? That means the number of elements. It's the number of elements in each set. So like when it says eight here, it doesn't mean there's just a single number eight. It doesn't mean set B just contains the number eight or something like that. What it means is there's eight things here. I don't know what they are. They're not showing them. Maybe it's the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. I don't know, you know. And there's uh, there's one thing here, maybe a W. And there's seven things, you know, blah, blah, blah. There, there's stuff in each of these sections. There's six things outside. Uh, it's the number of things, right? The cardinality means they're just telling us how many things are in each of those areas. They're not showing us what those things specifically are. So that's the difference on this kind of a question. They're just telling us how many things. They're not telling us what those specific things are. And then their question is right here. And I'm bringing it over here so we can see it more easily. It's in A overlap C. So that means the number. So this question is all about the number. The number in what? The overlap, because that's the U turned over, overlap in common to both A and C. Right? That's what that means. The number in the overlap in common to both A and C. U turned over overlap. All right, what do you what do you all think? What what is the number of elements? The number of elements. I should put that in there. The number of elements in the overlap in common to both A and C. Eight and one. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be eight and one, nine. Our answer is nine. Everybody seeing that? Because if you take A, sometimes it helps just to kind of highlight the specific sets. They're saying A unite, I mean, sorry, A overlap. See, so if I show A and C, kind of highlight them, forget about B, just highlight A and C. The overlap is these two right here, right? That's the overlapping region of A and C. So that's nine. Eight and one, nine. Perfect.